so now we switch over to the chemical properties of phenol since phenol is acidic in nature so phenol can you justify the acidic nature of phenol by taking the reaction of sodium and sodium hydroxide metal and base right so write down dear students chemical properties of what chemical properties of what phenol chemical properties of phenol acidic nature of phenol we have to prove it by taking two reactions what is this actually now uh, this is the phenol is oh now this is the sodium metal take two times and two times that is the two times o and a sodium phenol oxide plus hydrogen gas b reaction is you take phenol or carbolic acid is made to react with naoh oh or h water is lost o and a sodium phenoxide further right it is also helpful in preparing ether now second is the zinc dust distillation phenol whenever zinc dust distilled zno is lost and benzene is formed that will help you in preparing the conversion how do you get benzene from phenol with the help of zinc dust distillation right next is the whenever phenol undergo important uh, chemical properties oxidation takes place na2cr2o7 with h2so4 anybody tell me what the product form here this h this h and this oxygen two times water is lost and the very very important compound is double bond o double bond o what is this benzo we know it is ketonic group so the name is the benzo we know next important properties of phenol is like ramer tamen reaction ramer tamen name reaction is actually ramer tamen reaction whenever phenol is made to react with chloroform and aqueous naoh or koh to form a wonderful product applied in medical science medicine pharmaceuticals salicylic dehyde ortho hydroxy benzyl dehyde so ramer tamen reaction is very useful uh, in the preparation of in preparing you can say this is the formation of salicylic dehyde right the reaction and uh, you take the phenol first and then chloroform it is the chloroform this h or this cl as they are lost intermediate product is formed cl cl and cl this is the inter mediate it is made to react with twice naoh sorry ch is here twice naoh in aqueous state two na and two chlorines are lost twice nacl and then we get whenever carbon contains more than two oh group two or more than two then it is unstable due to a spherical hindrance 
So it is highly unstable. It will lose the water molecules to form, you know, OH. CHO. This is known as salicylal salicylal dehyde or two ortho hydroxy ortho hydroxy benzyl benzyl dehyde or in IUPAC system ortho is considered as two with respect to the functional group or dehyde is senior than the alcohols. So this is uh, to be taken as one and the next will be taken as two. So two alcohol becomes prefix and junior. It is to be taken as the hydroxy. So two hydroxy benzyl dehyde. Now it is all about the Riemann-Riemann reaction. Now next reaction is the Cole reaction. Whenever phenol is made to react with sodium to form sodium phenoxide. So another reaction is the Colvage reaction. It is as important as Riemann-Riemann reaction. So you take simply sodium phenoxide in a direct form. is passed to carbon dioxide at 140 degree Celsius. This OH, COO, NA, right? Then it forms intermediate. Right, the intermediate followed by hydrolysis with dilute HCl, Na and Cl is lost here, so it is OH and COOH. What is this? It is called as salicylic acid, or you can say 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. Now one question, sometimes put by the CBSC examiner, how do you get aspirin from salicylic acid? Conversion is here very small conversion, but quite useful. Because of aspirin is a broad spectrum medicine, like convert salicylic acid to write down important part here. It undergoes Acetylation, CS3, CO, hold to ISO in presence of Al, Cl3. CS3, COO, C double bond O, CS3. This is what it is the CS3, COOH, O, C double bond O, CS3. Then this is the COOH. It is the aspirin, right, or 2-acetoxy, 2-acetoxy benzoic acid or acetyl, acetyl salicylic acid. Now in that case, you see aspirin is widely used in antipyretics to bring down the fever antipyretics analgesic or anti inflammatory right three things are there wider a spectrum of you know wider use of Aspirin. It is all about this is what it is the phenol. Now phenol undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. So draw the resonance of the phenol. Resonance of phenol. Just like chlorobenzene, it is it has positive mesomeric or resonating effect, and there is a lone pair of the electrons. So here, OH, positive charge and lone pair and this is what it is the now no. 
if this load pair is here now this minus charge and it is the negative charge is it clear to you just like chlorobenzene further this load pair is being shifting to this point and and double bond ox and positive charge next time this will be there and back and then here this or this and finally this is the structure 1 2 3 4 and what is that 5 this is the it is the intermediate and first and final are complementary to each other right so based on these structures intermediate structures prove that the electron density is maximum at ortho and para position again the ortho position so phenol is very much ortho and para reacting in nature right so whatever they undergo electrophilic reactions to form ortho and para products always the isomeric mixture of ortho and para para is the major and ortho is the minor because of in para there is symmetrical structure and no steric hindrance two groups are apart from each other but so far as ortho is concerned it has you know uh, there is possibility or probability of the steric hindrance that is why ortho is the major product right so write down the important electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction substitution reaction of phenol first is the you can say bromination bromination takes place with carbon disulfide so non aqueous medium you remember it forms 2Br2 carbon disulfide chloroform for carbon tetrachloride this is what twice HBr is lost it is the OH and Br and OH and Br this is the isomers of ortho and para bromo para bromo phenol it is the major product and that is the minor product right 4 bromophenol or 2 bromophenol so it is the isomeric form of ortho and para bromophenol so but whenever bromination takes place in aqueous medium you can see phenol and then 3 pr2 in water that is the bromine water so H H and H 3 HBr is lost OH and this is the 246 246 tri bromo phenol or it is the symmetrical tri bromo phenol so next is the nitration nitration third at what temperature low temperature that is the dilute form so you take the phenol and then it is the HLO3 and H2SO4 at low temperature this is the orthonitrophenol and para nitrophenol ortho and para nitrophenol this is the major and this is the minor 
so the next is the nitration at high temperature so you remember here the important compounds important uh, product is obtained here nitration at high temperature that is concentrated nitric acid it is the phenol is made to react with you can see that is concentrated nitric acid and what acid sulfuric acid they have to replace the hydrogen from ortho and as para so it is formed anybody can tell me the name of this compound 2 nitro 4 nitro and 6 nitro 246 246 246 trinitro phenol 246 trinitro phenol it is very very strong acid due to maximum negative inductive effect so picric acid is formed here now then the fifth is the friedel craft alkylation you take the phenol cs3cl in presence of alcl3 it forms oh ortho methyl phenol <coughs> plus para methyl phenol that you can say ortho crisol which is the minor product and para crisol again you can take for friedel craft si lesson you can do yourself phenol when ever undergo friedel craft acylation with the help of acetyl chloride or acetic and hydride product will remain same so here phenol cl c double bond o cs3 what the name of this this is called as what chloride acetyl chloride and then take two times x ortho angulus para you can also take it two times twice x cl lost oh c double bond o anyone can tell me the name of this product here oh and this is the c double bond o ortho hydroxy acetophenone and para hydroxy acetophenone ortho hydroxy acetophenone as well as ortho and para hydroxy aceto phenol ortho and para hydroxy aceto phenol so this is all about you know the chemical properties of alcohol and phenol finished now in next class we we'll discuss you can say preparation and properties of ethers thank you very much and have a nice day